Today we're going to read The Reindeer Christmas by Mo Price. One Christmas morning, just as the dawn was breaking, two friends hurried through the forest. Faster, Ellen, urged Santa Claus. The sun is coming up. If anyone sees us, our magic will be lost forever. The next day, Santa Claus and Elwyn, his chief elf, sat in front of the fire, sipping their coca and toasting their toes. Every year there are more homes to visit and more presents to deliver. There just isn't enough time anymore, Elwyn, said Santa sadly. This may be my last Christmas. Don't give up, Santa, said Elwyn. There must be a way. They sat in silence, thinking. Winter was nearly over when Elwyn had his wonderful idea. Eureka, he cried. That's it. That's the answer. Plans were carefully drawn up. But then, everybody wanted to change them. Sometimes poor Elwyn could hardly hear himself speak. Finally, Elwyn got everyone to agree, and soon the workshop was humming with busy, excited elves. Santa wanted to see what was going on, but the elves would only say, It's a secret. At last, the secret was revealed. Santa was very impressed. Elwyn, he said, it's splendid, but I can't pull this big sleigh, not even with you to help me. Elwyn held up his hand. An elfin wish have I but one. I wish it once, then tis done. There's magic in this gift, say I. Whoever pulls this sleigh will fly. But who will that be? asked Santa. Don't worry, Santa. We'll find someone to help us. We'll advertise. And so they did. The first to apply for the job was an elephant named Murray. The takeoff was smooth, and the landing was just perfect. But Murray didn't get the job. Next came Marvin the crocodile and some of his friends, but they all had far too many teeth and looked much too hungry. Santa Claus was very polite when he turned them down. Rex, the leader of the Huskies, knew his team could do the job. If you want this sleigh pulled properly, he said, you need professionals. Certainly, the takeoff was fast and the flight was steady. But then Rex looked down. With a yelp of fear, he tried to climb into the sleigh with Santa. So did everybody else. The sleigh came to a sudden stop, then fell in swoops and circles till it splashed into a large pond. Through the summer, many others applied, but no one was quite right for the job. Winter came once again, and still there was no one to pull the sleigh. Santa Claus was worried. The day before Christmas, a young reindeer knocked on Santa's door. One of my friends has fallen into a gorge and broken his leg, he said. Can you help us? I'll come at once, said Santa. We could use the sleigh for an ambulance said Elwyn. That's a good idea, said Santa Claus, but there's no one to pull it. We could, said the reindeer, and that is what they did. The gorge was deep and narrow, but Santa carefully guided the sleigh to where the fallen reindeer lay. Gently, Santa and Elwyn lifted him onto the soft cushions. Then Santa whistled, and up they flew. As soon as his friend was comfortable, the reindeer came back to see Santa Claus. To thank you for your kindness, we would like to pull your sleigh tonight. 
I can't think of anyone better, said Santa Claus. And so it was decided. Now, Santa Claus knew he could deliver each and every present and still be home before the sun rose on Christmas morning. And so began a journey that would happen every year until forever. <laughs>